The White House defended the president today against a world of opposition to his decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. The deal, signed by nearly 200 countries, commits them to voluntarily reduce pollution linked to global warming. The president's chief defender heads the agency whose mission is in its title, environmental protection. Chip Reed begins our coverage. Begin by saying that the president made a very courageous decision yesterday in behalf of America. EPA America Chief Scott Pruitt, a leading voice in convincing President Trump to get out of the Paris Climate Accord, today defended him against worldwide condemnation. We have nothing to be apologetic about as a country. Other top White House officials hit the airwaves, making clear the president was focused not on the environment, but on jobs. We're putting the American worker, the American economy first. Because he promised to protect American jobs, American interests, American workers. It's a position that appears to have limited political downside. A CBS News poll found that when asked what is the single most important problem for the government this year, 13 percent volunteered that it's the economy and jobs. Just 2 percent said the environment and global warming. Former Secretary of State John Kerry negotiated the Paris Accord and said President Trump's decision was based on bad research. That's not a real study. That's an industry-based study by people who oppose climate change action and who have been among the leaders in, in, in the whole theory of a climate hoax, which, by the way, there is not one scientific fact that supports the notion in a peer-reviewed study that it's a hoax. The global warming and that, a lot of it's a hoax, it's a hoax. Pruitt was asked repeatedly today if the president still believes that position from the campaign trail. Yes or no, does the president believe that climate change is real and a threat? Does the president believe uh, today that climate change is a hoax? But he refused to give a direct answer. So did White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. Does he still believe it's a hoax? Um, could you clarify that since apparently nobody else in the White House can't? Yeah, I have not had an opportunity to have that discussion. Spicer also declined to explain exactly why the president did not simply invoke U.S. power under the Paris Agreement to change the U.S. greenhouse gas emission targets to make them less onerous on American businesses. Why renegotiate? The United States has the authority to simply reduce uh, the targets. Why not just do that? Because the president believes that it is in our country's best interest uh, to, to renegotiate the deal. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson seemed to downplay the president's decision today. He said he believes the U.S. will not diminish its efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Anthony? Chip Reed, thanks, Chip.